Hi boys and girls, Mrs. Hansen here. So today we are going to do the last paper that's in the packet that Mrs. Hansen sent to your parents. So we are going to do this paper, which has a little number 17 on the bottom, and we're gonna fill in the blanks with some of our sight words. So the first thing I want you to do, get the paper and a pencil. Make sure you write your name at the top. Super neat, nice handwriting. You've been practicing your name all year long, so make sure you get that at the top of your paper. So, we are going to read these together, and Mrs. Hansen is going to work with you guys so we can fill in our blanks. The very first sentence says, I can make a blank dog, I said. I can make a blank dog, I said. So our first word is how, then we have good, and then we have could. So if we look at our little picture, which sometimes our little pictures help us, this is a little boy and he looks like he's drawing a picture, maybe of a dog. So let's see, Mrs. Hanks is gonna fill in the blanks with these words and let's see how they sound. So I can make a how dog, I said. Well, that doesn't make any sense at all now, does it? So our next one, I can make a good dog, I said. That sounds pretty good. You could say I can make a good dog. I can make a good picture. Let's try the last one just to make sure that that one is our, is our pick. I can make a good dog, I said. Well, that doesn't make any sense at all now, does it? So do we all agree that good is our word? All right. So, on our dotted line, all lowercase letters, super nice, neat handwriting. You're going to write your G, then your O, then your O, and your D for good on that line. Super neat. Then, you are going to circle, Mrs. Hansen crossed it off. Hey, yeah, let's cross it off. Um, you're going to cross it off under the bottom, so we know, on the bottom, so we know that that's the word we use. So it says, I can make a good dog, I said. So I wrote the word, super neat, and then I crossed it off underneath. You guys got it? All right. So now we're going to do number two. Then come and see it, I blank. Now, do you guys know what these two these little dashes are? I don't know if we talked about them. If we did, we didn't talk about it a whole lot. But these little Dot. There's like two little dashes and then two more little dashes at the top in the group of those words. So then come and see it. See it's at the end here and at the beginning. Those are called, called quotation marks. So quotation marks let you know that somebody is saying that or has said that. So you could say, um, start your homework, said Mrs. Hansen. So there would be quotes around start your homework because Mrs. Hansen said that. That's something that Mrs. Hansen actually said. So that's what quotation marks are showing you. It's something that a person actually said and they're called quotes. So we know that this person is saying, then come and see it. So there you show a picture of, um, looks like a, the little boy bringing his mom to come see the picture that he drew of the dog, correct? That's what I think. Do you guys think the same thing? So, when we have quotation marks, that means somebody said that or is saying that. So, with thinking about that, let's see what we should fill in our blank. Then, come and see it. I like. Mm, I don't think so. Then, come and see it. I ate. We're not even talking about eating anything, so that's kind of weird, huh? Does that sound good? Me. Mm -hmm. What about, then come and see it, I said. Well, think about what Mrs. Hansen just said about the quotation marks. So that would make sense, because he just said that. He said that, so then we, are, we know that he said that by having that word said, which is our new sight word. So, I want you guys to write the word said. So we have our at, our a, our i, and then our d for the word said, and then you're going to cross off the word said. So just like Mrs. Hansen, 
nice and neat, all lowercase letters because it's at the end of a sentence. And I don't want to see any capital letters in there because we don't need any. Okay, so then our number three, let's see what's going on. So the mom and the little boy are looking at the picture. And then so number three, it says blank, we saw it. So let's see what goes in that sentence. So tell me what do you guys think? Then we saw it. Hey, that sounds okay. Let's check the other ones just to make sure. She, we saw it. Well, that doesn't make any sense. And plus, those are two um, pronouns put together. Two pronouns, she and we, that wouldn't make any sense because she is one person, which is a girl, and we would be more than one person um, together. So we wouldn't say she, we. And then next one, see, we saw it. Same kind of thing. When you have see and saw, those are the same words. They're just in different um, tense. They might be past, present, or future. So we wouldn't have those in there either, and they don't really make that much sense. So do we all agree then? Then we saw it. Now, what do you guys notice about all these words underneath our um, number three? They are all capitalized at the beginning. Why are they capitalized at the beginning? Because they are our first word in our sentence. So we have to have our first letter of our word capitalized because our first letter in our sentence is capitalized all the time, remember? All right, so for this one, you are allowed to use your capital T. So you're going to ca copy the word just how it is right underneath. We have our capital T, our lowercase h, our e, and our N. So all of our other letters are um, lowercase besides our T. And then we're going to cross it off. So Mrs. Hansen wrote the word then, and then we crossed it off. Okay. So then our very last one. We have quotes again. Look, I think, oh, we, oh, we have this one has quotes, this one has quotes, and our last one has quotation marks. So there's a little quotation mark, so we know that someone said that. So it looks like um, the mom is looking at the picture and the little boy looks really excited and proud because I think she thinks it's a good picture too. Because remember he said, I can draw a good dog or I can make a good dog. All right, so number four, that blank good. So it's in quotation marks. And what is that little dot with that big line underneath it? What's that punctuation? That is called an exclamation point. Remember an exclamation point? Mrs. Hansen loves exclamation points because I'm always excited. But you're going to sit, use an exclamation point when you're really excited, like, yay, that was so much fun. Then you're going to use an exclamation point to know that you're excited about it, right? So she's saying something about it being good. So let's see what words make sense in there. That make good. What do you guys think? No, I don't think so either. That no good. Well, I hope she doesn't say that no good, and plus that doesn't make much sense either, huh? That was good. What do you guys think? I think was is our word. I agree. So we are going to write our word was, which is our super new sight word from today. So I'm going to write my W, my A, and my S for the word was, and then I'm going to cross it off. So we have all of our words filled in for our paper. So all of you guys' papers should look just like Mrs. Hansen. If you need to pause it and make sure that you guys are writing your letters differently, because I want to make sure that you guys are really working really hard on making sure that your letters are nice and neat and are right in the lines just like Mrs. Hansen's are. So we have all of that done so that I should be getting this from you guys soon so I can see that you guys are working hard and um, following along during the week and getting your work done. Um, and I hope you guys have been able to go outside and enjoy the nice couple of days we've had with the nice weather. It was beautiful out yesterday. So I hope to talk to you guys soon. Bye, guys.